Let's take a look at some more complex branching with if and else. And so if I have my target code here and I have the code that I'm starting with, uh, and I say, let's use if, and we say if expression A is true, then we do the if code and then we branch back. If it's false, of course, uh, then we now have another expression that says, well, A wasn't true, but what about B? Is B true? And if B is true, then we'd say the else if, because the else if expression is the second one, and we branch back to the code. And if B is false, then we finally say, well, A is false and B is false, then we must do the else. Okay, so that's starting to look a little crazy there with the diagram. Let's take a look at this in actual code. 